Welcome, welcome back to another devlog about my game, Colorless. It's been a while and I am super excited to talk about what I've been doing in the past 5 months. This game is getting really close to getting a demo out. I am now basically done with the systems that I want included in the demo and also the overworld of all the areas of the first chapter. The final touches I basically need to do are bug fixing, sound design additions, playtesting, and close friend playtesting. But other than that, I believe in the next month or so, you might get your hands on it finally. We last left off talking about the Volcano Overworld and the creation of the cooking system and status effects. The Volcano at that point in time only had the first floor complete. The Volcano is now fully fledged with multiple floors and a new puzzle. These little creatures are hot and cold spirits. Some places in the Volcano are dark, and these little tricksters love to play and will help you as long as you play hot and cold with them. The volcano holds the red color spirit temple, and you need to cross a pool of lava in order to get to it. The upper floors of the volcano have bridges, which you can burn down to create a path towards the temple. I won't show you how it all ends, but expect a boss fight and also an encounter of the colorless bunny. Now that the overworld is done for all the areas of chapter 1, now it is time to give these areas some story. I needed to create cutscenes for how you met the red color spirit, the boss of the chapter, and many other areas to either explain to the player on what to do, or to give dialogue that can help understand how everything works in the world. I worked on creating a tutorial for the battles to help players understand how timing attacks work and timing defense works. I don't want to handhold the player, but having an understanding of these systems won't leave the player in the dark. After all, it is the main gameplay that you will see in every battle with every enemy. Next, I created a simple main menu and a settings tab for adjusting volume. In the future, I want to add more to the settings for resolution, but for now, this is okay. Next was a pause menu, which will also be a place where you can adjust sound and exit the game. I recommend not exiting the game though, as for now, there is no save feature. The demo should be completed in about 2 hours, maybe a bit more if you're trying to experience everything, and if you're speedrunning, it can probably just take 1 hour. In the future, a save feature will be added as the game gets longer. Next, I added a loading screen. Honestly, you probably won't see it for that long, which is a bummer because I spent a while to make it, but also having long loading screens is a pain to deal with, so I guess I can call it a win. I have a lot of extra time as I am waiting for my sound designer to get all the sound effects done for me, so I said, screw it, let's create the skill trees now. Using the color orbs you got on your adventure, you can upgrade each individual's color spirit that will join your party. They all will have their own skill tree to do certain things in battles. For example, Arthur is all about your basic abilities and defense, so a skill you can upgrade can maybe boost your perfect defense or maybe give you an attack boost if you perfectly defend all the incoming damage. Gus is your first color spirit that can do special attacks. Naturally, you can upgrade those special attacks by simply giving Gus more power, making the attacks have a higher chance to do a status effect, increasing the length of the special attack, or unlocking new special attacks. The skill trees that are in the game now are short, but later on I would like to make them bigger so you won't just stop using color spirits because they are getting weaker later on in the adventure. This was a pretty short devlog, and there's a reason after all. I am creating spoiler content. I don't want to show you the final chapter boss fight, I don't want to show you all the cutscenes, and I don't want to show you the full volcano overworld. All of these things I want you to experience on your own. Yes, I want to show you all these new amazing things I have been creating, but why not let the experience you have in the game show you if it's amazing or not. Anyways, thanks for watching and consider subscribing, and while you are down there, hit the like button as well. I hope to see you guys soon with an announcement of the demo's release.